Okay, hi, welcome to Animal Flow. I'm Jamie Olson, and I have my two apprentices, Jada and Olivia. Um, okay, so in Animal Flow, we're gonna be doing a lot on our hands, our knees, and our feet, and so we're gonna do some things to just warm up our wrists, especially. So um, we're gonna tuck the toes of one foot behind, so we're gonna work on, ex on that big toe extension. We're gonna interlace our fingers and we're just gonna make circles. So we're gonna do 30 seconds one direction. And here's a good time to like check in with your breathing, make sure you're breathing. Good, and then switch directions, keep those toes tucked. Okay, let's release the hands and then let's tuck the other toes. So you're just gonna tuck the toes of the other foot. You can kind of sit back on your heel if you can. We're gonna pretend we have magnetic bracelets on. So you're gonna take your hands together, your wrists together, poke your thumbs through and then bring the backs of the hands together, fingers in towards your body. So we're just rotating around. Okay, so we're just working on getting that flexion and extension in the wrists so that when we put our weight on our wrists, it's, they're nice and warmed up. Good, and then switch directions. So come back the other way. Nice deep breaths. Good, and then you can untuck those toes. From here, we're gonna do waves. So we're gonna basically do almost like 80s break dancer waves. So you're gonna interlace your fingers, lift the elbow of one arm, then lift the elbow of the other arm. So you're just making waves. Good, and then let's switch directions. So waves the other way. Good job, and then release. So from here, we're just gonna do one more, actually two more warm ups. So this one, we're gonna interlace our feet, or, or take our fingers and fists, and then point your knuckles down towards the ground. And as we inhale, we're gonna lift our arms and then at the top, we're gonna extend the fingers and bring the arms down. So it's kind of like you're painting a fence, like Karate Kid style. Good. Good, let's do one more. Nice. And then from here, anytime during animal flow that your wrists feel tired, like they need a little break, you're gonna take the backs of the hands together, point the fingers down into this wrist release position. But right now we're just gonna kind of reach our fingers down and then come back up. So we'll do 30 seconds here. Good. So this should feel kind of good, especially kind of at the top of the stretch. Let's do three more seconds. Good, and go ahead and release. And then um, you can do that wrist release anytime your wrists feel tired, or you can take your hands, like hang loose fingers, and just kind of shake them out. That's another way to kind of make your wrists feel better. So in animal flow, we first activate the muscles that we're gonna be working, and then we mobilize by kind of opening up some of our, like opening our hips, working on our ankles, warming up our ankles, and then we're gonna move. We're gonna do some traveling with these animal positions and then we'll, we'll learn our flow. So the first thing we're gonna do is activate um, the muscles we're gonna be using for our static beast. So I'm gonna turn sideways. You guys can keep facing forward if you want to. We're gonna tuck our toes. Hands are right under the shoulders. And then we're gonna just scoot our knees so the knees are in front of the hips. So if you were to draw like a straight line down from your belly button down to the ground, 
you want your knees to line up to that line. So to start, we're gonna keep our knees down. We're just gonna spread our shoulder blades apart. And then we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades together. So we're keeping our arms straight the whole time. So let's spread the shoulder blades apart and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let's do one more like that. Spread the shoulder blades and then squeeze them together. And then we're gonna find a place that's sort of in the middle of those two extremes. Then we're gonna keep our upper body in this position and we're just gonna work kind of our lower um, back. So we're gonna lift our tail towards the ceiling and then tuck our tail under. So we're doing sort of like a miniature cat-cow with just our low back. Lift the tail towards the ceiling, tuck the tail under. Let's do one more, lift the tail, and then tuck the tail. And then we're just gonna find a place kind of in between there. So this is a neutral spine position. So your spine should feel pretty comfortable here. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna engage the glutes, so kind of squeeze your booty, engage the core, we're gonna keep our back in the same position it's in, but we're just gonna lift our knees off the floor about an inch. So lift the knees and hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lower down. You can do that wrist release. So that position we were just in with the knees lifted is called static beast or beast. We're gonna be doing that several times um, throughout class. It's one of our base positions in animal flow. So we'll be practicing that several times. Um, the next move that we're gonna do is static crab. So we're gonna flip over, so we're seated. <clears throat> in static crab, our feet are about hip width apart. Hands are about shoulder width apart with the fingers pointing back. So to find the position, we'll first scoot our feet towards, or scoot our bum towards our feet, and we'll scoot our bum towards our hands, and then we're, we'll find a place in between. So we should look sort of like a capital M. So arms are straight, we're kind of pushing the floor away, and then we're just gonna look, if looking straight ahead is looking at the horizon, we're gonna, just gonna lift our chin a little bit so we're watching the sun come up over the horizon. So from here, we're gonna engage the core and just lift the bum an inch off the floor. And hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and lower down. Good job. So wrist release. So we're gonna come back over into our static beast position and we're gonna learn limb lifts. So to lift, you can start on your knees for this first part. So remember, knees are in front of hips, right kind of underneath the belly button. Hands are about shoulder width apart. So we can start on our knees first, but to lift one hand at a time, you're basically gonna bring that arm kind of into the shoulder socket. And then the hand should just be off the ground enough so that someone could slip a piece of paper under your hand. And then lower back down, and then let's do it with the other arm. So you're just gonna pull that arm sort of into the shoulder socket. So the hand is just like an inch off the floor, or not even an inch, and then lower back down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do it from our static beast position. So we're gonna lift the knees an inch off the floor, and then let's lift the right hand, and then lower down, lift the left hand, and lower down. One more time each side, try and stay as stable as you can. Lift the right hand, Lower, left hand, lower, good job. Okay, lower down, wrist release. So to lift the feet, basically, if you wanna just watch me one time, so we're gonna be in that static beast position and we're just gonna work on just lifting the toes and then lower, lift the, uh, the toes of the other foot and lower. So you wanna just stay as stable as you can in your body. So let's find static beast. And then let's lift right foot, just barely off the floor, lower down, lift the left foot, lower down. One more time each side, lift the right, lower, left, lower. Good job. Wrist release. Okay, so from here we're gonna do contralateral, which means opposite arm, opposite leg. So if you notice me shaking, 
it's normal because this is really hard. So we're gonna come onto all fours, find your static beast kind of setup. Knees are in front of hips, directly below the belly button, and you're gonna set crap or set <laughs> set beast. So from here we're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg, and then lower, opposite arm, opposite leg, lower. So we'll, let's do that one more time on each side. Good job. So from here, let's get back, sorry. <laughs> so from here, we're gonna work on traveling. So for traveling beast, you're gonna lift that opposite arm and opposite leg, then you're gonna stride and land. So in animal flow, if anything feels like too much for you, you can always lower down onto the knees. So we call that regress to progress. So let's do two steps forward and then two steps back. So we're gonna engage and lift into that static beast. Lift opposite arm, opposite leg, stride, and then land softly. Lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land. Let's go back. Lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land. Good, go ahead and lower down. So we're gonna practice that one more time. I'm gonna turn a timer on for 30 seconds and we'll practice that. Go forward two steps, back two steps. One thing to remember, we wanna keep our knees just an inch off the floor the whole time. So it sort of looks like we're like really smooth. Okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. So set your static beast and then you're gonna lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land. Nice, so two steps forward and then two steps back. Good. Okay, you got 10 seconds. See if you can do a couple more steps forward and a couple more steps back. And time, good job. Okay, wrist release. Good, from here we're gonna work on um, crab and we're gonna work on our limb lifts from crab position. So we're gonna find that crab. So feet are um, hip width apart, hands, shoulder width, fingers can point back or you can point your hands to the sides. Okay, so let's find crab or set crab. And then from here we'll just do this together. So let's lift our right foot just barely off the floor and then lower. Lift the left foot and lower. Let's lift the right again, right foot and lower, left foot and lower. Good job. So to lift the hands, you're basically gonna like shrug your shoulder to lift that hand. So let's set crab and let's lift right hand. So you're shrugging, you're just coming barely off the ground and lower, lift the left hand and lower, right hand, lower, left hand, lower. Good job, lower down, you can do that wrist release. So from here we're gonna do the contralateral limb lift, so opposite arm, opposite leg. So if you feel a little wobbly here, just we're just doing the best we can, so it's all good. So find crab, lift the bum, and let's lift right hand, left leg, and lower left hand, right leg, lower, right hand, left leg, lower, left hand, right leg, and lower, good job. Go ahead and lower down, so wrist release, or you can shake them out. So from here, we're gonna learn the crab reach. So I'll do it once first, and then you guys can practice with me. So in a crab reach, if we know we're gonna go into a crab reach, our, we're gonna change our stance a little bit, so our feet are gonna be more like shoulder width apart instead of hip width. Hands are gonna be in the same position that they were for a regular crab, so about shoulder width apart. And you're gonna find that place in between the two. So from here, as we kind of find our crab position, <clears throat> if we come into a left arm crab reach, we bring our left arm just kind of in between the eyes, our left hand in between the eyes. From here, we're gonna lift into a three-point bridge. So we're gonna lift the hips, 
So hips are square-ish to the ceiling, and then that hand is still in front of my face. From here, if I am gonna continue, I'm gonna continue to extend my hips, push the floor away, bring my arm up and over, and then I'm looking down at the floor. My arm is framing my head, so my bicep is kind of towards the back of my head, and then I'm pushing the floor away, working on getting more extension in my spine. And then to return to crab, bringing the hand back in front of the face, lowering all the way down, and then setting the hand down. So let's practice that a few times. So we're gonna set crab, but remember we want our stance to be a little wider. So our feet are more like shoulder width. Good. And then let's come into a left arm crab reach. So find that three point bridge first, then continue to reach up and over, pushing the floor away, extending the hips towards the ceiling, framing the side of the head. And then return to crab, lower down, set the hand down. Let's do a right arm crab reach. So bring the right arm kind of in front of the eyes, lift the hips to that three point bridge, continue to reach up and over, and return to crab. Good job. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do 30 seconds of alternating crab reaches. So you're gonna set crab, you'll do a left arm crab reach, lower down, right arm crab reach, lower down. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Ready, set, go. So you'll set crab, and then one arm crab reach, Nice. And then return to crab and then switch arms. So you can do this slowly or quickly and you may find that you only get a few done in this 30 seconds. You have 10 seconds left. Good. And time. Good job. So Jada, the only thing is at the top of the crab reach, you wanna make sure you're looking down at the floor and then return back down, okay? Okay, so from here, we are going to do um, ape reach. So in ape reach, we're gonna come into a deep ape position. So kind of like a deep squat. And you can kind of wiggle from side to side. If your heels come all the way down to the ground, great. If not, that's also great. We're just working on mobility in our ankles. So I have really tight ankles, so it's hard for me to get my heels all the way down, but each time it gets better, so. Okay, so for, this is deep ape. So in deep ape, hands are just kind of in prayer, we're just looking forward. To come into ape reach, we're gonna bring our arms, almost like we're about to dive into a pool, we're gonna bring the backs of the arms next to the ears, backs of the hands together, and then hands are just an inch above the floor. We're shifting the weight back to our heels and then squeezing the knees in towards the body. And then open, we're gonna shift the weight to the balls of the feet. We're gonna open our knees, open our arms, hips can come up a little bit. Good, and then let's come back into that ape reach. So shift the weight back to the heels, bring the knees in, squeeze the arms next to the ears, backs of the hands together. And then open, shift the weight, and open up nice and wide. Good, let's do one more here. Ape reach. And open. Good job. Okay, from here, we're gonna work on lateral traveling ape. So I'm gonna do it first facing the other direction just so you can sort of see what it looks like from, if you were watching me do it from the same direction, you guys can take a little break. So for traveling ape, I'm gonna start in that deep ape position. And then in animal flow, we say step on the gas or press the gas. And that means we get, we're gonna come onto the balls of our feet. So your brakes or your heel, your gas is kind of like your, the ball of your feet. So I'm gonna take my opposite hand in front of my opposite foot. I'm stepping on the gas. And then I'm gonna place my other hand about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna hop so that my trail leg lands first in front of my opposite hand. And then I'm just gonna set that deep ape position. So if I do one more step and then set deep ape. So the other direction, same thing, set deep ape, set deep ape. 
So in between each step, you want to set your deep ape and then take your next stride. So let's do 30 seconds there. Ready, set, go. So you're gonna go two steps, one direction. Good. And then two steps the other direction. Nice. Good. All right, you got five seconds. Good job. Okay, so you can come down, take a little break, wrist release if you need to. So from here, we're gonna combine the three moves that we just did, traveling beast, um, crab reach, and lateral traveling ape. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of each. We'll take a little breather in between each, each one. So for the traveling um, beast, the forward and back, you'll just do like two steps forward, two steps back. Okay, so here we go. And then we'll just take a little break and then we'll go into the crab reaches. So ready, set, go. So remember it's that lift, stride, land, lift, stride, land. Good. Ten seconds. And time. Good job. Wrist release. Take a little breather. Then we're going to do alternating crab reaches for 30 seconds. So for these, Remember, you can hold that top position where you're reaching up and over. You could hold that for a little bit longer if you want to. Sometimes that feels like a nice kind of like stretch, kind of break. Okay, 10 seconds and then we'll start again. And three, two, one. So you'll set your crab and then you'll just do one arm crab reach and return to crab. Make sure at the top of that crab reach you're looking down at your base hand. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, time. Good job. Wrist release. Take a breather. I know. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do 30 seconds of lateral traveling ape, and then we're gonna learn the flow. So let's go ahead and find, so we're gonna set our deep ape, and ready, set, go. So remember to step on the gas, and then find your deep ape in between each step. Good, you got 10 seconds left. And three seconds and time, good job. Okay, now you can just lay down and die or... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate the flow that we're gonna be learning today. So I'm gonna face away from you so you can sort of see what it looks like. Um, if you were if facing the same direction. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna set beast, right leg side kick through, jump to left leg side kick through, left leg jumping under switch into left arm crab reach, return to crab, into right leg, jumping under switch into right arm, crab reach. Return to crab into left leg under switch. And then we're back where we started from. So um, basically, we've learned several of those movements already. We've learned 
the crab and the crab reach. So now we've basically got it. So we're gonna learn um, our under switch first. So under switch is basically just a way to get from crab to beast or beast to crab. So it's just, you're just switching from one to the other. So the um, easiest way to learn it is first from crab and then to beast. So I'll just show it one more time or one time. So set crab. If I were to say right leg under switch, I'm gonna lift my right leg and my left arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg. I'm bringing my arm into my body and then step on the gas of that base leg. So my left leg, I'm coming onto the ball of my foot, rotating around so my leg goes under and then I'm just landing in beast. Okay, so I'll show you from the other side. So, or with the other leg, what? I'll have you guys do it in a sec. So left leg under switch. I'm gonna lift my left leg and my right arm. I'm gonna press on the gas. My leg goes under and then I'm gonna land in beast. Okay, so let's practice that together a few times. So let's set, you guys can just face forward. So set crab, right leg under switch. So I'm gonna lift my right leg, step on the gas of that left, rotate around, the leg goes under, land in beast. Good, let's lower down and then come back into crab. All right, set crab. Left leg under switch. So I'm lifting my left leg, right arm, step on the gas, rotate around, land in beast. Good job, has everybody got that? Okay, so from here, we're gonna learn it from beast back into crab. So if I were to, I'll face this way. So I'm in beast, right leg under switch. I'm gonna lift my right leg and my left arm. My leg is going under through the window and then I'm landing in crab. And we're working on trying to land our foot and our hand at the same time softly. So it's the same thing, you're just going the other direction but you're still going under your body. So the language in animal flow is descriptive, not creative. So it's not, not like flowery language, it's just kind of like straightforward. So, okay. So let's set beast. Right leg under switch. And then you land in crab, good. So now we already know how to do an under switch from the crab position. So let's practice that right leg under switch. So you're gonna step on the gas, rotate around. Now you're back in beast. Left leg under switch. And left leg under switch. Good. Okay, so can we do 30 seconds of kind of back and forth crab to beast? And I'll call it out. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna set, let's set crab first. So come into crab. Good. And I'll just call it out and you guys follow along the best you can. Okay, here we go, set crab. Right leg under switch. Right leg under switch, so you're just going back through. Nice. Left leg under switch. Left leg under switch. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up a little. So right leg under switch. Left leg under switch. So now you feel like a rotisserie chicken. Right leg under switch. Right leg under switch. Good, left leg under switch. And right leg under switch. So now you're back in crab. Okay, you can take a rest. So wrist release. Okay, so under switch is one of our main, we call it switches and transitions in animal flow. We're gonna learn next a jumping under switch because that's a jumping under switch is what's in the flow. So jumping under switch is a way, so an under switch is like halfway between, so you're going from crab to beast or beast to crab. A jumping under switch takes you all the way from crab through beast back into crab. So you're doing a full circle. So I'll demonstrate it um, a few times. So I'm gonna set crab. And if I say right leg jumping under switch, I'm gonna lift my right leg and my left arm. I'm gonna jump to my right leg. So instead of like a regular under switch where you're just sort of rotating around, I'm gonna jump 
to my right leg, landing in a modified beast position, so one leg is lifted. And then I'm gonna continue through the window, landing back in crab. So I'll show you facing you so you can see the, what it looks like in the modified beast. So I'm set, I set crab, right leg jumping under switch. I lift my right leg and my, my left hand. I jump to my right foot. My left leg is lifted. I'm in this modified beast position. So knees are still an inch off the floor. Then I'm gonna continue that left leg through, landing in crab. Okay, yeah? Okay, so let's practice that a few times. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters which way you face. So, okay, so let's set crab. Right leg jumping under switch. So you're gonna lift your right leg, but also jump to your right leg, and then continue through into crab. Yep. Left leg jumping under switch. So you're gonna jump to that left leg into that modified beast, and then continue through. Good, so each time you wanna make sure you pause in that modified beast position before you keep going through all the way. So it doesn't have to be like super fast, okay? So let's practice that again. Let's do two each way, okay? So let's set crab. Right leg jumping under switch. Make sure you pause in that modified beast and then continue through. Good, left leg jumping under switch. Good, one more on each side, right leg jumping under switch. And left leg jumping under switch. Nice. Okay, go ahead and lower down. Wrist release. Good, so good. Okay, from here, we're gonna do um, a side kick through. So we're gonna learn a side kick through. Side kick through is basically half of an under switch. So, I'll show you from the way that you're facing. So you're gonna find beast. Right leg side kick through. It's like a half under switch. So I'm basically gonna do as though I'm doing an under switch. But as soon as I see my base foot pointed to the side, I'm gonna drop my heel so I'm pushing on the brakes. I'm gonna kick the right leg, bring my left hand back so that my elbow is back, palm of the hand is next to the face. And my hips are in between my arm and my shoulder, or my arm and my wrist. And then I'm gonna right leg under switch to return back to static beast. So left leg side kick through. I'm rotating, dropping the heel once my foot is 90 degrees, and then pulling back, almost like you would pull back on a slingshot, pointing the toe. And then left leg under switch, return to static beast. Okay? So let's practice that. So we're gonna set your static beast. Make sure knees are in front of the hips. Good. And then right leg side kick through. So you should be pointing to the side. Good. And then right leg under switch. Left leg side kick through. Left leg under switch. Good, let's lower down. So the main thing to remember with the side kick through is that you wanna watch your foot, your base foot, and make sure, so if you're starting forward, that when you're in the side kick through, your foot is perpendicular to where it was when you started. So if we're doing right leg side kick through, I should be pointing to the side of where I started from, and then return, same thing, pointing to the side. Okay, so that's the main thing to remember with that. From here we're gonna learn jumping side kick through. So I'll demonstrate it from the same direction. So if I'm in a, so set static beast, and then right leg side kick through, so my foot is perpendicular to where it started, I pull back, toes are pointed, and then I'm gonna jump to a left leg side kick through. So I'm gonna take my kicking leg, I'm gonna jump to that leg, my hand's gonna come down into a modified beast like we did when we did the jumping under switch. And then I'm going to come into that left leg side kick through. So jump to right leg side kick through, I'm gonna to jump to my left foot and then into that right leg side kick through. Whew. Okay, so let's practice that a few times. So 
Good, you guys can face that way. So let's set beast. So knees come off just an inch or so. Right leg side kick through. Jump to left leg side kick through. So make sure you pause in that modified beast position. Good, jump to left or right leg side kick through. Jump to left leg side kick through. Nice, good job. Okay, left leg under switch, good job. Okay, so we basically have the first part of the flow down. So we're gonna start in beast. We do a right leg side kick through, jump to a left leg side kick through. So that's, that's the first part of the flow. The next part of the flow is a jumping under switch, which, which we already learned, but we're gonna do it from a left leg side kick through. So if we're in that left leg side kick through position, it's not that different than a crab, right? So if you were to lower your leg down, you're basically in a crab position, which remember when we do a jumping under switch, we start in crab, end in crab. So if we're gonna do a jumping under switch from a side kick through position, we're starting in the jumping, or in the side kick through, jumping through into crab. So we're in that side kick through. If I say left leg jumping under switch, I'm gonna jump to my point, or my leg, and then I'm gonna continue through, and now I'm in crab, okay? So it's similar to what we've already been doing, but we're just doing it from a side kick through instead of from crab. So let's practice that. We'll practice it both sides. So you guys can face forward, I'll face back. So we're gonna come into, so we're gonna set beast. And then let's do a right leg side kick through. And then a right leg jumping under switch. So you're gonna just jump to that right foot, find your modified beast, continue through into crab. Good, okay, let's lower down. Let's come into a left leg side kick through. So let's set beast, left leg side kick through, left leg jumping under switch. Yeah, nice, good job. Okay, so from here, we're, the, the last move that we're gonna learn is jumping under switch into a crab reach. So if you're coming from, we're coming from that left leg side kick through, and then we're coming into a left leg jumping under switch. So we're coming into, and then our left leg is, is up before we land all the way in crab. So we can come right into a left arm crab reach. So then we would lift up, come all the way into that crab reach. And then we're gonna return to crab into a right leg jumping under switch. So we're not gonna lower the hand all the way down. We're just gonna lift our right leg jumping under switch into right arm crab reach. So we're gonna come into that crab reach, return to crab into left leg under switch, and then we're back where we started from. And then we've got the flow, okay? Yeah. So let's practice that. Um, we'll go through the, let's practice the, well, I don't think we need to practice, let's just start. Okay, so let's set beast. Right leg side kick through. Jump to left leg side kick through. Left leg jumping under switch into left arm crab reach. So don't land your left arm, lift into that crab reach. Good, return to crab into right leg under switch. Oh, jumping under switch, sorry. Into right arm crab reach. So go all the way around into that right arm crab reach return to crab into left leg under switch. So when I say return to crab into, the word into means you don't land your hand all the way down. So you're not putting your hand down. So let's practice that again. Okay, so set beast, right leg side kick through, jump to left leg side kick through, Left leg jumping under switch into a left arm crab reach. Return to crab into a right leg jumping under switch into a right arm crab reach. 
Return to crab into a left leg under switch. Good, and then we're back at the beginning. We could practice that over and over. So if you're watching this video, you could um, pause, rewind, and just listen to me call out the flow, and you could practice it as many times as you would like. Um, I would say see how many times you can do it in a row. It's really fun once you can do like two or three or four in a row. And then um, we're just gonna do a couple stretches to kind of finish up. So we're gonna come so we're sitting on our feet. And we're gonna do a quad stretch. So quadriceps I've noticed are usually the most sore after animal flow. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna take our hands just behind our body and then we're just gonna squeeze our glutes, lifting the hips. So you should feel a stretch kind of down your hip flexors. You might feel a stretch down the top of the knee. Good. <laughs> Good job. Okay, and then lower down. From here we're gonna do, I call this a wrist pin. So you're gonna take your hand so that the top of your hand is on the floor. Fingers are pointing towards your body. And then pin the palm of the hand down with your other hand. Then we're gonna rotate our elbow pit forward and then release. So elbow pit forward, release. So you might feel this releasing your whole forearm or just the wrist. Good. And then let's do the other wrist. So top of the hand on the floor, pin it down, elbow pit forward and release. Elbow pit forward, release. Good, and we'll do that a couple more times. Nice. All right, from here, we're gonna just do an ape reach a few more times. So we'll do two ape reaches. So let's find our deep ape. Good, and you might notice your heels feel a little closer to the floor than they did at the beginning. So we're gonna come into an ape reach, bringing the arms, backs of the arms next to the ears, backs of the hands together, squeeze the knees in towards the body, and then open, shift the weight to the balls of the feet. Open the knees, nice open position, good. And then back into that ape reach. And open. Nice job, and then whatever other stretches you feel like you need to do, um, you can go ahead and do. You guys did a great job. I hope you enjoyed Animal Flow, and have a great day.